42 years old, Dan the Beast Severn, one of the greatest wrestlers in the world, to take on one of the top strikers in the game, Pedro the Rock Hizzo. Pedro Hizzo, the best striker ever to face Dan Severn. The scariest, Dan Severn loses by KO. Let's go. This event will pit two of the finest heavyweight warriors ever to enter the octagon. In September 2000, at UFC 27, Severn quickly losing to Pedro Hizo by technical knockout, submission to leg kicks, after a kick to the knee. For inside leg kick, put him right down. He's looking for a way in, he's, he's looking for a clean takedown, you see him throwing some fakes and what's so helped Dan's really concerned about. Oh, huge again, kick. and huge the knee kick. goes down, the knee goes down, right to the knee. Right to the knee. And he comes way in on that knee. Just right on the inside of the tendons. You see it flop around there with no weight. That hurt. Immediately, you see the pain register. Oh, my. Exactly what I told you. Watch the force in which he uses oh. it. Boom. That's the Muay Thai background right there. That's what Pedro's built on. Pedro hits a once and twice, and he finishes it quickly. And a great show of respect as he took out the knee of Dan the Beast Severn. We have a winner by referee stoppage. Pedro! Sovereign faced Jupe Castile on December 2005 at the Rings Holland Man of Honor and lose by a diff knockout, punch. Unfortunately, this video is not preserved. Already old Dan Severn faced Ryan Fortin on April 2011 at the King of the Cage, Mile Zero. The Beast lose by a diff KO, punches in third round. In the next month, Severn faced Lee Bean on May 2011 at the Paul Wendale promotions. The Beast comes east. He loses by KO punch in round one. After that, then Severn won one more fight and ended his fighting career. Low Light was with you. Please punch like and check your subscription. See you soon.